How's it going, my fellow dreamers? The music you are currently hearing has been generated with a text-to-audio model by using the prompt you are seeing on the screen right now. The tool I've used to generate this audio track is developed by Mubert, a company that focuses on AI-generated music. They just released a new MVP for us to play around with, so that's what we are going to do in this video. So let's get started. So I've already set up the Google Colab notebook. And if you're new to Google Colab, all you have to do is um, run all these cells by clicking the play button and enter your email address. After that, we can get started with creating some music. So for our first piece, I'm going with a bird soaring through the sky. And the duration is set to 20 seconds. So this will create a 20 seconds audio file. So let's try this out. Okay, I can imagine the, the bird soaring through the sky. That's cool. So you can hear the sound is fading out at the end. Um, there is the option to create a loopable audio track. So if we activate this, now the, the next track should be loopable. as well. So you can hear no more fading out, so you could create a, a loopable audio track. Um, so for the next one, let's try something totally different. Um, let's go with some keywords like ancient, Japanese, um, futuristic, and vaporwave. How about when we add synth wave? Okay, not bad. Let's try something else with looping. Um, let's try lo-fi, calm lo-fi, hip-hop. 20 seconds. Nice. That's a cool beat. a cool beat so let's try something like 60 seconds and make it loop <laughs> okay I feel like a beat wouldn't be bad now can it deliver? Doesn't seem like it. I mean, it's not bad, but... I'm missing a beat, at least for me. So let's go with something else. Um, let's try post apocalyptic. Not sure if I wrote it right, but it doesn't matter. Calm and ambience. Let's try something with ambience and rainy. with the flutes. Okay, 
this is really nice. I like the crackling, sounds like fire. Or maybe it's the rain, I don't know. Yeah, I could use this for an intro or whatever. Or an outro. This is really nice. I need to do download this one. Okay. Um, the next, let's try something with a real artist name. Like, let's try Hans Zimmer. And I really like his Cornfield Chase track from the Interstellar soundtrack. Okay, interesting. At least we have a piano in there that reminds me of Hans Zimmer. The loop in the background is a bit annoying. Let's try a different track, let's say Simmer's Day. Okay, again with the piano. It seems to recognize that Hans Zimmer is related to a piano. Let's try something else. Um, let's go with uh, the song from my latest music video. Let's try the black keys. I'm lonely boy. Yeah, let's run with that for f uh, first. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Doesn't seem very similar to the black keys or the track lonely boy. So yeah, um, let's give it some more hints. Let's try indie rock. Yeah, and sometimes uh, the cell doesn't produce an audio file output. I think the API in the background is throwing an error and the Google Colab notebook is not picking it up. So just hit the play button again. Okay, that sounds more like it. A bit monotone though. Yeah, I think all of the longer generations could use a bit more um, variants. Like it's it's all super similar. And I think long tracks could benefit from more, um, how do you say? I think variants, yeah. It's just all the same. Not all the time, but for a one minute track, I, I expect some more variants in there. So instead of indie rock, let's try punk rock. <laughs> Doesn't sound very punk rocky to me. That's more like a Christmas jingle, not, not Christmas, but some advertising jingle. Yeah, maybe maybe the the issue with the the variance is that yeah it's loopable. Let's try something else without the loop. Okay, it 
still not very punk rocky. Ah, but there is the the. Okay, it seems like loop is the issue with the repeating stuff. Okay, cool. Let's try a different type of style. Let's go with J-pop. Nice. I dig it. The good old claps. See, there is more uh, variants in there if, it, if we don't uh, activate the Duke checkbox. I'm not sure if this is just a coincidence, but I think I think um, it has to do something at least with it. So let's try something for the last one. Let's add psychedelic. Seems to be stereo as well, so the. <laughs> That's crazy. I didn't pick that up on the other ones, but now I can hear the, the that that sound effect. I don't know what to call it, but it switches from left to right. It's not very noticeable, but it is there. Okay, that's cool. So um, I think I will leave it at that. And for the rest, yeah, let's try it out yourself. Have fun. If you want to try this for yourself, there is a link to the Google Colab notebook in the description below. Keep in mind though that this is not a fully released product and editing Mupert's API is free for now, but that might change in the future. So if you want to stay up to date, follow them on Twitter for the latest news. So that's about it. See you in the next video. Thank you for watching.